6.30 p.m. for the 21st Century Teaching and Learning STEAM Expo, which will be held at Perkiomba Valley High School. The evening will feature many wonderful examples of what students are learning in the areas of science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Fourth graders from South Elementary School will talk at the Expo about how they use the platform Code.org to create various shapes and designs. So I'm using different math functions and colors by basically turning right, moving forward, going backwards, and turning left by making certain squares and lines to basically make it look like a red, white, and blue American flag. So one of our steps was um, when you, so to have it perfect red, white, and blue, we had to do certain amount in red and certain amount in blue because basically if we had this blue and all the blue, it wouldn't be red, white, and blue. So we had to change the color every now and then so it would work, work perfectly. Well, the angles were kind of important. Yeah. The ears were the most difficult because we had to figure out, figure out like the spacing and how the angles would still fit onto the cat's face. This is <laughs> this is all it took for the ears. Yeah, this is all the ears. And that's all the coding for the ears. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. And then right now it's filling in the eyes. It takes a while for <laughs> to do the small circular bits. Yeah, but it just you there was. You had to do a lot of the same things, like over for the again. loops. Yeah. Okay. You had to this do. This is what we've got so far. The background. Right now, the biggest challenge is making the whiskers. We've tried maybe five times. Yeah. <laughs> First graders at South Elementary School will be doing a different sort of demonstration. These are bee bots. You can tell them what to do by pressing the buttons. You can, you can, you have to put them on a mat, and then, and then you have to like press the buttons. And where you want them to go, you have to try to figure out which ways they mm -hmm. have. We had to um, exit out its, it, its old memory with the X, and then, and then you have to try it again. But, you, but sometimes i so, so you can, can, so you can count how many screws you have to push them in and then and then and then once you're at the distance like at a corner you can you can turn it with one of these. The Bebots don't always go where the first graders want them to go, which teaches students a different kind of lesson. We learned that we don't give up. The unique project opportunities extend up to the high school level as well. Tech Ed teacher Matt Storm will be available to show visitors how his students are using a brand new vinyl cutter machine to learn how to turn line art images into stickers, t-shirts, and other items. The students will be using it in our intro to manufacturing classes and in the future we'd like to incorporate it into a newer class where it's a graphic design type of class but we actually export the items. Um, so in my intro to manufacturing classes we go through a whole unit of manufacturing and woodworking and then in this aspect then we would move into a graphic arts area, um, cover as much graphics as we can and give the students the ability to create decals, stickers, window planes, t-shirts, and everything is completely custom. Whatever they can create, design, they're able to cut it. And uh, it's very inexpensive for the material. Um, everybody loves it. The students are just really intrigued with what it can do, and the, the it seems like it's very limitless. So students see that, oh, we can do this, and we can do this, and they just really want to take the classes. They want to learn more. They want to come in over their lunches. I have students every day that are, hey, can I, can I come in over lunch and study halls and, and learn about it and program it and go from there? So the students really do like it, and I think that in the future, if we do create a class around this, that it will definitely explode in volume and we'll have full classes. Students in Ryan Drieger's science classes will be demonstrating how they used their own devices to film protists, which are microscopic organisms made up of a single cell. Mr. Drieger challenged the students to capture the movement of these organisms as they were learning about the three ways in which the organisms move. It's more intriguing and interesting to see how it actually works and like we can use it as a real-life application to see how it works. Like we don't 
orientation to see how robots are in our daily lives and how they affect humans and other different organisms. So this is just applying it and making us more intrigued to see like what we're learning about. So really the best cool. is just hearing the the reactions as they see cool stuff on the on the video and uh, hearing the, the oh look at that or or wow because that's you know that's the goal they're they're enjoying science and I think that's really more more. Yeah, of this. Students are eager to share what they have learned with visitors to the expo, and they have lots to say about the power of the technology tools they are learning to use in the classroom. I hope that they learn that great things can be made by coding, and that sometimes, sometimes you can do a lot more than you expect to. Yeah.